it's um, not Sunday, but I am printing, so I thought I'd make a video just because. Um, I am printing today because we're out on a day trip tomorrow, so we'll not have, we'll not be home to print, and we'll not have time to print once I do get home. So um, yeah, um, it was a really quick printing session again today. Um, I finished carving um, some more little liner cuts for uh, the privilege of meter, and so um, I've just very quickly let's see what's upside down today. Um, oh, there's three. Just quickly printed those off today. So this one here is obviously curtains for the circus tent. Then we've got a bit of a banner that says the privilege of meter, which will be a lot clearer once it's cleaned up in the computer. And something that's really messy, but I just kind of got the urge with a little admit one ticket for the circus, for the performance. So yeah, so um, I've started cleaning up my first of the images and that's for the fortune teller in um, Sketchbook Pro. And oh, it's been a long time since I've... Um, to think back since I've really manipulated an image heaps um, and probably the last time the last times I was doing it um, were when I was finishing off my pixie books so that's yeah right so that's probably not long before I left so so we're probably talking like maybe eight years ago so it's taking a little while for me to get my head back into the space of it um, it's kind of funny, like I draw so I can print and in this instance I print so I can scan and then I can add and take away with the magic um, stylus. Um, and it's good, I suppose um, for the average person just looking at it for the first time they would just see a print, which is what I'm after, um, but it's a print that's kind of, you know, controlled by me I guess so it's like a drawing print together I don't know if there's a technical term but anyway it'll be I'll be happy once I see it and when it's once it's done and I can add color to it that way and um yeah but it takes a little while to get your head back into what I'm meant to do and how much I'm meant to take away and what I'm meant to put in and still making it look like a lino but just more of a what I would like to see as a lino so it's good it's taking a little bit of time but this is the first one and I've got mm, yeah, at least 10 to do so I'm sure by the 10th I'll be just like yeah whatever let's get on with it so yeah so um in terms of what's going on in the world um well not the world let's just start with Victoria and the eastern states I guess um I hope that you are safe if there's flood water near you or heading towards you um I've been watching some of the emergency reports on tv and it's it's all pretty scary and parts of Geelong got flooded as well, which is extremely close to home. This is where I live. Um, so please stay as safe as you can. I did see on the news that the majority of the rescues have had to be people who were chose to drive through flood waters. That's not really smart. Um, so please don't do anything like that. Um, don't put yourself in danger. So I hope, yeah, hope you're safe and I hope you're okay. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've had a few days off this week and I have been working my proverbial art butt off. So I've been carving up a storm, that's the printing. I've carving, I've got two more um, acrobats that I'm carving and one more drawing to do of a strong man, I think that's gonna be. A waver between a strong woman and a strong man, but strong man it is. Um, and I want to get that transferred to the lino and have those carved for next weekend for printing. And then I've actually been for the grant that I was lucky enough to get for the privilege of meter through Creative Engine, through the Geelong Art Centre. I'm actually been writing up my quiddle report for that. So that's been sitting nagging me to do for a little while. And that, that's really great. It's really good. Um, I had so many wonderful discussions with artists and groups and it's really good to actually, like I took notes at the time and stuff, but really type it out and think it out and think about, you know, just try and capture the essence of what I talked to each of them about. Um, 
because it's been over the process of a year, I guess, uh, things happen and you kind of, you go up a little bit and then you go down a little bit and you go up a little bit and down a little bit in terms of mood and response and everything else. But when you actually get a chance to summarize and put it all together, you realize that it's been just amazing. It's just been, I don't know, I couldn't have, made, I think most artists are generous with their time and their spirit anyway, but of all the, all the artists that I reached out to agreed to talk to me, all of them would have done it for free. So the grant was just a complete bonus. Quite a few of them tried not to be paid. Um, and yeah, that generosity of that, that willingness to share is, I know there's lots of people in the world that share, but I think artists are really prone to it. So um, there's not a lot of, this is my space, go away. Which is just awesome. And um, I wasn't expecting through the grant that I'd kind of, it's not its not a community per se, but it's definitely a network. I've got a network of people to talk to now that I didn't have before. And that was a totally unexpected boon from that grant. So that's, that's good. That's brilliant. So yeah, so... So my focus at the moment then is now, once I'm nearly finished carving and everything else, is clean these images up and get them coloured in on the computer and really tighten up the words. I've done all the draft of the words for the privilege meter and then take that package and put it out, in the, out into the world and see how it's received at the other end, which is really exciting. Um, Paper Women is still on exhibition at Cloverdale and it will stay there till just before Christmas where it will transfer to the Space Gallery in Newtown and um, I'll be in the gallery for some of that time that the exhibition is there um, between yeah some of the weekends Christmas to New Year and then a week solid from I think it's the 9th to the 13th. Of January so I'm very much looking forward to that and if I can get organized enough I'll try and run some sort of uh, printing workshop if people are interested so um, not wouldn't be a charge associated with it I think I'll just have my press there and just be there and just be doing kind of artsy stuff just because I'll take the opportunity to treat it as a bit of a residency and if people want to pop in and have a little girl printing or whatever else we can work all that out so so yeah, so I can't keep talking because I'm on a bit of a deadline for something today. I'm going to a party next, which is, um, it's an adult party and I can't actually remember the last time I went to an adult party. So like here I'm probably offending people who've had parties. But I really, when we got back from West Australia to being away for 10 years, we chucked a New Year's party because we kind of figured it would be good to get everyone we knew in the one spot and so later we went at the same time and that was in 2016 i think that's the last party party we went to it was a long time ago <laughs> so anyway yeah, i'm sure it'll be nice i'm sure there'll be lots of people sitting around drinking i'll be sipping a cup of tea and um just chatting maybe so i mostly can't even think of what to wear which is so odd what does one wear to parties in the middle of the day, in the middle of the year? I just don't know. It tells you how old I am. Okay. Um, I'm going. Take good care. Be safe. Don't go into flow water. Um, stay as dry as you can, if you're Victorian at least. And um, we'll talk to you soon.